The Friday Night Fights Tour continues, and we are glad to be here with you. I'm Joe Tessitore, alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the Aragon Ballroom here in Chicago, Illinois, for our main event. Ten rounds of heavyweights. Great atmosphere here tonight. You talk to everybody ringside, and they expect this one to be a barn burner. Remember, guys, obey my commands at all times. Let's have a good, clean fight. Touch them up. Well, they're scheduled to spend a half an hour swapping leather. This is 10 rounds. No matter what the sport, Teddy, it's very challenging to string together two absolute masterpiece performances. Ali's last fight was just that. It was a spectacular knockout victory. And he's looking for more of the same. And to get more of the same, he's got to remember, it wasn't just his power. It was the way he set it up. It was all the little things that he did. That was a miss by Woods. Double jab by Muhammad Ali. Teddy with a power puncher against a high stamina fighter, a guy that can take you into the deeper rounds. How much is it a disadvantage where it sort of takes away what maybe he's best at? Well, it's a disadvantage mentally because if his power doesn't work and the high endurance guy is still there, he may start to dissipate. He may start evaporating right in front of you. See, he's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Doubling up the jab by Muhammad Ali. Snapping shot by Woods. Takes one to give one. He comes back with a right hand. Nice quick jabs by Muhammad Ali. Comes right back with a shot of his own. How about a return to sender with the left hand? And that's the end of round one. Ali was able to get to his man in that last round. Now he's got some momentum. You know, everyone thinks he's not a puncher, but he puts them together. And he put those punches together where he got the effect he wanted. There's the combo downstairs. Come on, get Oh, veteran move. Counter shot to the head. That was not well targeted by Woods. Flush right hand to the head. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Effective with that one-two. A nice block by Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali with a huge right hand. Right back at you, counter power punch. Ali's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Good effective work with that straight right hand. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Locks it away. Solid shot again. 
again downstairs. Thought he had his target, but way off to the side with the uppercut. He just looks exhausted to me right now. Woods' accuracy is non-existent. This guy cannot punch a solid target right now. No, but what this shows, he's missing so many shots. We always think about the damage done when they land. This is showing you the damage that's done when they miss. You get discouraged. You start giving in. Well placed, jab straight. Just 10 seconds to go here in the second round. There's the uppercut, one of my favorite punches, and it works that time for him. And this round comes to an end. It is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. Woods is tagged. That right hand over the top, Lance Flush. Muhammad Ali's picking up right where he left off. Remember how he finished that last round? Yeah, he really finished strong, really fast. And you know what? This is a thinking man's fight. I know. Good, solid right hand lands. Woods is rock, and his defense is porous right now. He could go down at any moment. Well, the problem is he's got the habit of blocking punches. When a guy's putting them together, you can't block them all. Some are getting through. Good one, too, by Muhammad Ali. Ali's doing a really nice job here. I mean, putting his punches together. This is what you're supposed to look like as an offensive fighter. Yes, it is, especially when you have a guy in front of you putting the earmuffs on. You know, you cover up the way that his opponent is. You're supposed to put them together. One or two are going to be blocked. But when you put them together like that, they're going to get through. Ali's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got solid. Woods is floor right there. What a solid, straight, piercing shot that was. Simple geometry. Straight gets it done. Right to the point. One, two, three, four, five. I give him a lot of credit for even getting up from that knockdown, but he still has to impress and move forward here. Yeah, I applaud him. I give him credit, but I also recognize that he's in good shape. That's one of the reasons he got up. He's going around now, Teddy, like his legs are made out of wet noodles. Yeah, and my mother was boiling the water because she used to make sure that that water boiled and boiled was never... Big right hand. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Woods is trying to find a way to survive the way he's doing it right now. He's holding on. He's clinching his opponent. And they work on it, just like you do in other sports. I mean, football, you work on the goal line defense. This is his goal line defense, making sure no touchdown is scored. Well, no more touchdown. A clean, crisp right hand by Muhammad Ali. And that does it for this round. Good job in that round. Relax, you're in control. All right, breathe, breathe, deep breath. Get some more. All right, you're good, okay? You're good out there. Now breathe, breathe. Now listen, he threw a wide punch and he caught you. Now tighten up your punches, all right? He's looking for that. Fourth round is underway. Teddy's scorecard reads three rounds to zip against him. You know, I think if you told him before the fight you're going to throw more punches than your opponent, he'd feel good. But right now, it's not working. Well, I think he's looking to take a picture. He's looking to go to his studio and do a photo shoot because somebody should tell him that after you throw a punch, you're not supposed to pose. Ali's not skipping him. Woods is dazed. Oh, a big shot comes home for him. This is going to take some guts to get up from this. Once again, he goes down. One, two, three, four, five. Woods is able to get up. Teddy, I question, though, if he'll be able to go on. What does he have to do? Well, he's got to know what to do, but what not to do. Don't use your legs. Don't try to move, because that's the inclination. Get on your bicycle when you've been hurt. No, the bicycle's not there. You got flat tires. What you got to do is grab on the inside, clear your head. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? 
Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing one-on-one. Big, big shot he just scored with. He goes down, and he doesn't look good at all. Woods is going to need a minor miracle to survive this. He's going to need a great will and desire to survive it. Muhammad Ali's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Muhammad Ali's fitting end to a very strong night for him. There is a business component to this game here, this boxing game. And the business component is, yeah, you got to win, but you want to win spectacularly. You want to get people interested, excited. He just did that. Yeah, good one for the fans. Glad you tuned in to see it with us. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas saying thanks for being with us.